everybody, Splint here. Welcome to Splint Reacts. If you are a returning subscriber, then guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, let's just kick this off by addressing the elephant in the room, okay? What the hell, Elias? What the hell, JD? Like, this just, it can't end well for Sean. I'm so angry. I'm so upset for him. He's like my favorite. He's been in, what, like five episodes altogether since Scrubs started? Okay, he's not my favorite, but he's definitely like one of my top three favorite, like, guest stars. So I'm upset for him. Look, I really thought that I was gonna be okay to talk about this, but I'm really not, I guess. I'm disappointed that Elliot cheated on him. I'm disappointed that Elliot cheated on him with JD. And I don't know how to get over it. The longer Elliot doesn't tell Sean, the longer I'm gonna be upset with her. And you know what? I'm ups like, it's probably gonna be equal with JD as well, because JD knew she was in a relationship. Anyways, guys, just expect me to be mad at the both of them this, this episode, or I guess until, I guess until Sean finds out. I hope that it ends with Sean breaking up with Elliot, not Elliot breaking up with Sean, for whatever reason. I don't want Sean to get dumped, I want Sean to do the dumping. Sean deserves better, in my opinion. Team Sean, I am team Sean, hashtag team Sean, okay? I would hate to see Sean, not Sean, I would hate to see Scott Foley leave the series again, potentially permanently, but his character deserves a lot more. Anyways, moving right along. I suspect we're gonna get Carla and Turk's wedding in the series finale. I'm upset with Carla too. Oh my god, everyone just like cheated in this episode, except for Turk, really. I mean, Dr. Cox didn't cheat, right, but he was kind of flirty with that Dr. Miller or whatever. I don't know. Okay, not everyone. All right, I'm just mad. I'm just mad. I'm mad at everyone. <sighs> the fact that I'm so emotionally invested in Scrubs now is actually really dangerous, because if you've watched any of my other reactions, when I get attached to characters and they don't get what they deserve. I get frustrated for them to a point where it looks like I'm like I'm almost angry. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna be angry for a little bit, I think, but I'm sure if Ted is around and if the janitor is around, they will help relieve some of my frustration. Let's just get into this episode. So this is episode 19 and it's called My Choosiest Choice of All. Sean? I have been looking all over for you. What are you doing back from New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that scene went. What's up with him? He slept with Elliot last night. She's already back with Sean. How soon after you guys hooked up? About 90 seconds. Ooh, what should I do? They weren't broken up though. Because the closer Turk and Carla got to their wedding, the more they became one of those annoying couples that thought they knew everything about relationships. Look, Look JD. JD. Love is like a butterfly. Hold it too tight and you'll crush it. Too loose and it flies away. Mm. Vomit. I was nervous, but I felt better the moment I saw good old Irv at the security gate. Irv. No parking allowed at the emergency curb but I'd be happy to park your car for you. Except this is my only set, and I'm afraid you might eat them, okay? Well, that was so rude. Irv didn't look great, but I didn't have time to talk. Danny? When you run into some- Hey. I'm actually on my way to see somebody, so I gotta- oh, Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, be nice. Danny, wait. How have you been? Well, actually, I- Ooh, that... He doesn't care. Hey, Elliot. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't find a parking spot. <laughs> hey, JD, what's up? Last night, Elliot Reed and I made passionate love for a good hour and a half. Check that. A great hour and a half. <laughs> You've got something on your face. What? The love of my life. You got it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Last night was really important to me. I know. I mean, you don't want to be rusty at sex before you throw down with your real boyfriend, do you? I really want to make this work with Sean. Should have thought about that about 24 hours ago. 
Thanks again, Dr. Miller. I want to have my band write a song about you. I went ahead and took a look at your little rock star's chart. Your output is dropping, so you should probably start him on Lasix. I'm going to pretend to consider your opinion before I walk away and do whatever I want. Hmm, no. <laughs> Are, Are you all right? right? Some hooligan keeps disconnecting the alarm. Some hooligan. <laughs> Don't security look into it? They'd rather catch the guy who's stealing organs from the transplant ward. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You really want to be a security guard? Who around here commands more respect than the men who wear blue and green? The uniforms are black and gray. You got me. I don't see colors well. Happy now? Okay, Elliot really hurt me. And it's important that I don't do anything rash. <coughs> do you have to do that here? Ugh. Gross. God, you never used to smoke. Yeah, but back then I was pretending to be someone who I thought you wanted me to be, and that didn't work. So now, I'm gonna let the real me come out. And the real me wants to do it again. She wants to do it right. Oh, I don't know, Danny. The real me's not really into that. Give it to me! Ah! Oh my God, Danny, I am so sorry. I thought that's what you wanted. It was. Look, there's a new doctor at the hospital, and she is such a relentless chore that every time she's harping at me, I actually see your face. Oh, my God, you have a crush on her. Who said who to what now? Mm. It is so typical. We're totally getting along for a change, but that's too boring for you. It's too nice. Hey, this badge is now yours. I just want to thank you for believing in me. And I want to assure you that I'm going to be guarding. Do we still call him janitor? To hell. Yeah, that's terrific. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad's. He used to use this baby every day at work. Was he a cop? Uh, no cat trainer. Meow. <laughs> Felt bad about hooking up with Danny, but luckily no one knew. You want any water? Well, do you guys? Oh my god, the scratches. Whoa, 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 whoa. Moving a little quick there, aren't we, bub? Got a story to tell me? Oh my god. He's actually so much taller than Perry. My cousin is a bank teller, and he gave me one of those exploding ink cartridges they put in stolen money so I could figure out who's been disconnecting the emergency exits. Okay, that's all for me, Jeff. Any other questions you might have, you can direct to Dr. Cox here. I'm sure you'll find him to be quite something. <laughs> he can play with his friends for an hour, and then I'll drive him back. I won't worry about it, mostly because he's not going. You see, I'm his doctor now. Oh, I didn't listen to you before, so now you're going to take it out on the patient. Don't get me wrong, the fact that it seems to be pissing you off so much is the true definition of an added perk. Seriously, you can, you can look it up in the dictionary. It's under P for perk. Man, I get so gassy after having sex. <sighs> oh, by the way, some skank named Barbara called and I told her to back off. Barbara. Barbara's my mom. Oh, I was gonna be like, who's Barbara? <laughs> I go four steps out that door to my car every day. And that's important, because if I don't beat Enid home from her thighs and buns class, I have to help her peel off her leotard. God, he's so tall. I don't know why I'm only having this realization this episode. I'm kind of using this area. Oh, you are so annoying. Are you married? Like when you realize you just might have a crush after all. No. Does he? In a big hospital, you can hide from almost anything. We're so close, and yet if anybody asks if we're married, all either one of us can say is, is no. You should just go ahead and enjoy your crush. Because, honestly, I don't care. I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Turk and Carla this episode are low-key annoying. Hey, you want to play darts? Sure. Great, have fun, I'll be over here. Do you even enjoy spending time with me? No. But you don't. Enjoy hanging out with me, do you? Not really. I guess this is over. Why? You'd rather hang out with someone you don't even like than be alone? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, me too. 
Elliot and I are in the middle of a marathon game of hide and go seek. You didn't see me. I love Scott Foley. Have you guys seen Sean? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, don't even start, Tarler. Kirk or. <laughs> Freak show, why don't I do a little piece for you? I like Kirk. <laughs> I do not have a crush. What is this? That is a form allowing Mr. Stockton's band to come visit him so that Dr. Miller will be happy that I did a nice thing for her. <laughs> okay, let's see how Elliot likes it when I'm all over my lady. That cigarette breath, yep. <coughs> I'm gonna buy the next round. Which one of you handsome boys won't help me carry it? We'll start this out when I get back. Okay, sort away, Shawnee, Sean, Sean. Oh, my God. How could you do this to me? Do what? Come over to my house, sleep with me, and then dump me the minute Sean shows up, so I feel like a complete loser. You jumped into bed with Danny so quick, you didn't have time to change the sheets. You know I only have one set. Oh. Look, Elliot, what do you want? How about you remembering that you're supposed to be my friend? <sighs> what do you want? Just, uh, just watch his face. No way. How are you feeling? Hey, Rick. That was super unfair of her, by the way. Joe? <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. I hope this won't be awkward for you, but I promised the whole band you'd have sex with them. <laughs> this is your fault anyway. You two made me dream again. Hey, we weren't the ones who caved in the Kelso. I do not owe you an explanation for that. I was so mad at Elliot I couldn't sleep last night. Also, Danny snores like a gutted wild boar, but mostly it was the Elliot thing. Hey, JD. Oh my god, I love that Kelso's portrait is still there. That's the first time I've noticed it. I don't know if it's been in any other episode so far. Did anything happen between you and Elliot while I was gone? Yes. Well? Yes. Okay. Hey, you want to go for a beer after the show? Lie. In the end, it's about integrity. It's more than you've got. Just follow the <laughs> the slime mo Oh! Yeah! No! <laughs> Is this an actual band? Did you did you do that for me? Oh. I thought it'd be fun. See, now there are two blondes you can't have sex with. And sometimes, you just have to do what's right for your friend. Nothing happened. Yeah, I figured. Good talk. You just have to be proud of the decision you made. Well, I guess JD's a better person than I am because I would have told Sean, we all know whose side I'm on, so maybe I'm a bit biased, but that's not fair to him. Oh, look, JD kind of had a point in this episode when he was saying, you know, how could you do this to me? Like, I get it. He's got a, he's got a genuine point. But then it takes two to tango, you know? I don't think it's fair of Elliot to be like, maybe remember that you're my f friend for a second. I was like, well, really? Maybe you should have thought about all of this before you jumped his bones. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I can't believe I care. I can't believe I care this much, you guys. Um, no, Ted. I couldn't read the name of the band in the end, but I dubbed their sound. I quite liked it, so... I'm glad that nothing happened with Dr. Cox and Dr. Miller. I didn't really want any of that, so glad that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, Carla and Turk, a little bit annoying this episode, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. We're just going to keep rolling into the next episode. So episode 20, which is called My Fault. I'm clutching this pillow for emotional support this episode, BT does. In some ways, Dr. Cox and Dr. Kelso are a lot like an old married couple. Yeah, they are. 
Color me intrigued, Bob. I am considering offering full body scans here at Sacred Heart. What do you think? Full body scans? Was imperfection in their body just to scare them into taking invasive and often pointless tests is an unholy sin. Does sound a little sketchy ethically, doesn't it? So he's probably going to do it? Can't believe Kelso really asked my opinion, you know? <laughs> Look. <laughs> yes. Amaran about their lives. I'd be at my AA meeting right now. What's in there, scrub brush? It just so happened. Scrub brush. Go. Kelso. Kelso really listened to me about this whole full body scan thing. I was thinking about getting one of those scans. What did he say? He isn't. If only he loved us enough to get a full body scan at Sacred Heart. <laughs> Nicely done, as usual, Dr. Turk. Why is Hot Doc being so nice to you lately? I don't know, but it's about time. I bought a killer dress for your wedding yesterday. Has your bride to be started freaking out yet? Oh. Yeah, so that's probably going to be the season finale. I think I predicted that earlier on. Kelso! Oh, Danny! Turk! Kelso! Why are we whispering? Because she hears like a bat. Bats hear really well. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Sonar. Wait a second. That's whales. No, 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 no. Bats and whales. Bats and whales. I just don't think we should see each other anymore. Cool. I'm already kind of sleeping with this guy named Danny anyway. I guess she wasn't calling out her own name after all. You know what? I don't even care. You know why? Because I bet she's calling out my name while she's sleeping with him. No, I don't. She's like a bat. To <laughs> so stop whispering. It actually wasn't that awkward breaking up with Danny. It was a little odd that she stuck around for two hours to do her morning yoga. Hey, JD. Don't come chasing after me like you do with Elliot. Because if there's one thing everyone knows about John Dorian, is that he always wants what he can't have. Everything's wrong again. Baby, it's cool with me and with the cake guy tomorrow. Nothing's cool. Nothing's cool. Okay. The okay. centerpieces are supposed to be cupids, but they have no arrows, so now they're just fat baby. <laughs> Plus, I have to wear my grandmother's choker, but with my hair up, it makes me look like one of those African tribeswomen with a coil around my neck. Okay, first off. They look sick. If we have too many guests, you can uninvite some people. Really? Really. <sighs> we got like 130 too many, if you ask me. I don't even know 150 people. I cannot believe you're gonna turn this hospital into some money-making machine that coerces people into spending their hard-earned cash on expensive procedures that they don't even need. Why not? Sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> One single person gets a full body scan, I will, I will kiss your ring. I'll take that bet, champ. You're our witness, Laverne. What kind of gullible chump would go ahead and spend $1,000 on some silly scan if he's feeling perfectly fine? Hello, Laverne. Cheryl. This guy whose name I forget. Turk, what if someone's vegetarian? I gotta go call the caterer. She's quite mad, you know. I hope she doesn't rub off on you. Please, man. I'm Christopher Duncan Turk. Duncan? His dad loved donuts. <laughs> Saying that the point is, I don't lose my call. I don't know. We don't have Dunkin' Donut Donuts here. It's called, or we do, but it's called Donut King. We're going to see Michael Jordan. We're going to see Michael Jordan. We're going to see Michael Jordan. Because we got good tickets. We went 500 miles. I'm just saying. God, I wish we could go back in time and see that game. Why do you want you can't have? Why are you here? I want to know everything that's wrong with me. We can just go ahead and do the exact same thing we've done the last 50 times you've been in here. Why should I even listen to you? The last time I was here, you tried to torture me to prove a point, Dr. 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 Cox. There is nothing you can say that can stop me from doing this. Apparently your insurance company's not going to cover it. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> you want me to hold the fat flaps? More than anything in the world. Todd, you're up. Thank you. But you've got to get through this whole procedure without making a single sex joke. I think we need to go in from behind. And 
stay out. <sighs> totally worth it. You're pathetic. What? For three years, I've been watching you pine after blonde doctor, and I gotta tell you, everyone is sick. Yes. Will they? Won't they? Looks like they're going to. Oh, the last second, something went, oh, 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 come on. Enough already. Thank you. These aren't exactly Ross and Rachel. Who? Dr. Ross and Rachel from bookkeeping. <laughs> that was funny. I don't even care what you think. Mr. Corman, your full body scan is on the house. I'm listening. Cheeky. Sometimes you don't even know how it happened. Now I'm fat flap guy. Why would Dr. Miller turn on me? I've been great in surgery. I've been nice. He hasn't her. invited her to the she's wedding. The wedding? No, she's not. What? I uninvited her. That's rude. It's amazing how your world can change in an instant. <laughs> you guys, guess what? <laughs> I just asked Sean if he would move in with me and. Uninviting anybody from anything is kind of rude. Isn't that great? Full lipped bastard. Great! <laughs> what does Sean have that I don't have? Don't compare yourself to him. He's better. <laughs> He's such a savage. Why are you mad? You told me to uninvite people. So without asking, you went to my new boss and told her you didn't want her to come to the wedding. No. I told her we didn't want her to come. You know, I knew this girl in college who moved in with her boyfriend. Everything changed. Stopped talking to each other, started fighting all the time, and... They broke up. Oh, no, he killed her. Don't do that. Why are you here, Sean? Elliot listens to you, J.D. Why are you messing with her head? It's because he wants what he can't have. Okay. <laughs> are you actually trying to convince me, an admittedly frugal hypochondriac, not to get a free full body scan? Mr. Corbin, you're not dying of anything. All this concern about my health and my well being, and it's about a bet? Yeah. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a full body scan to take. Were they just at a restaurant in their hospital gown and lab coat? Hey, Elliot. Uh, look, I was just goofing around before about that whole thing. I think it's great you guys are moving in together. Thanks, JD. Maybe it's true that I'm someone who only wants what he can't have. But what if the thing I want is the girl I'm supposed to end up with? Should be me. What? I'm crazy about you. If I had the choice of hanging out with anyone in the entire world, or sitting at home with you, eating pizza, watching a crappy TV show. I'd choose you every time. Um, I have to go. Will you leave me alone? Look, this baby would mess with a normal person's mind. It will ruin you. How can I believe that you even care about me? How long are we doing, Mr. Corman? We just had our scan. You win. And. Oh. There you go. I was damn sure I'm not about the bed anymore. You do whatever you want. He's a great character. He really is. I say that like every time. Tough, we are not having wedding pie. This is so typical of you, Carla. This whole wedding has been about you, and I'll prove it. Give me back my wedding planner. Pink roses. I hate pink. Big screen TV at the reception. Big screen TV at the reception? I knew how much you wanted to see the playoffs. It's amazing how one simple gesture can bring you back from the brink. So, the U-Haul is parked outside. Everything I own is... Except for this half of my salad tongs, but I, I was using it to scratch myself on the way over. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I guess the funny thing about love is you never know how things are gonna work out. Like me. Ellie? What are you doing? 
What are we watching? The Last on the Prairie. Sometimes the smallest victory is enough to get you through the day. I didn't get this scan. I know you didn't, Mr. Gorman. Please, call me Harvey. Aww. I'm gonna need your home number. You know, just in case. Just in case. I'd be drawing the line there and be like, no, but you can come to the hospital anytime and contact me there. My whole future was right there in front of me and I just walked away. I think that the problem with most people who want what they can't have is that when they actually get oh. don't want it anymore. But not this guy. You finally have me. Oh my god, I don't want her! He better be joking. Um, okay, so filming that episode was a bit hard because Miko was like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with him, but anyways. I don't know. I didn't love that episode. And, oh God, I can't remember. I thought I said that there was one that was like my least favorite episode so far from this season. No, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't have... Maybe I didn't have a least favorite episode yet, but that would probably be it. I honestly don't know what to think about that episode. I think, okay, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I, I don't know what to say. I genuinely don't know what to say about that episode. I, all right. Okay, all right. Well, Sean should not come back to the show. Because if he does, It'll just remind me of how angry I am at Elliot. JD better have been joking with that last line. I'm so annoyed. I'm sad that Scott Foley didn't get a better send off than that, um, unless he's maybe around in the next two episodes. I don't think we'll see him again. Um, I don't know, but, oh, maybe, I don't know. I hope. I God, I don't know. I'm very, <laughs> I'm so in my feelings. I really enjoyed Dr. Cox this episode. I think Dr. Cox was MVP in this episode. Um, I loved everything that he said to um, the hypochond hypochondriacal patient whose name I forget. No Ted. A little bit of the janitor. I'm, I was like happy with the, everything that the janitor was saying about JD. I was like, absolutely, 150%, I agree, absolutely. Um, so I enjoyed him, this episode, just kind of coming in and telling it like it is. Yeah, Carla was a bit cray cray <laughs> with wedding planning. And I get that that probably is something that does happen, but I don't, like if I was gonna get married, my wedding would be super duper duper small. Like I would probably just go have a registry wedding and then tell everyone like a month later. But anyways, teach their own. Glad that I wore my Space Jam jersey for today's video. That was kind of a funny serendipitous moment. Uh, so yeah, Jordan, LeBron who? Anyways guys, I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for future Scrubs reactions and other videos that will be dropping along the way. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.